Paula, this is not a spring chick with a green in its cooking show. Oh boy, I've got a knife. Right? <laughs> this is probably the greenest cooking show in the world because we're going to show you how to make Mediterranean spaghetti with leftovers. Of course, I guess you could do this, well, fresh. You don't have to make it with leftovers, but we're making it with what we have in the refrigerator. If you happen to have frozen vegetables, you can of course use those, but these are the, happen to be the vegetables that I have because sometimes all your vegetables are not quite as fresh as you would like them to be. And you realize you better hurry up and cook them because otherwise they won't make any of the meals. So what we're working on today is, of course, we've got cabbage, broccoli, celery, and some great tomatoes and mushrooms that we're going to go ahead. We also have some brown mushrooms, but I'm using these because these are already sliced. I have this over here to go ahead and wash the vegetables because instead of washing them all individually, which I suppose that you could, but I'm going to go ahead and toss all the vegetables in there, and then from there, we're going to wash it so you're not having your water run quite as often and you're not using quite as many dishes. So when we're making this, all we have is this one dish here, that, Oh, and that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it's a, it's basically dishes. a two-dish item plus the dish that the spaghetti was in that was <laughs> that you had the leftovers in. So. Well, and this is just to clean it. Yeah. I mean, you could, of course, f forego this and just put each of them under the water, but I think then you waste more water. So, and that's just water, you know. You just, just do it all at one time because you're going to eat. It all goes together. Now, this right here, as you see, the ends are not quite as fresh. So we're going to go ahead and chop off all these ends here, so the older part is not being used. And we're starting from this side instead of this side because we want it to be as fresh as possible. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's <laughs> towards the end of its life anyway. But if you cut from this end at the beginning when it's fresh, then it will. It will look like, like that, that immediately. <laughs> you know, there's another way of. Uh, uh, okay, you, you, if it gets like this. You can you mean like this? Like that, yeah. You can take the take it and stick the uh, end part in some water and it may rehydrate it. Really? Yeah, there's a possibility. Okay, now how much celery? That's, that's enough. There's probably enough celery, yeah. right? Yep. But what it does, it gets you back to where the stalk is, because uh, this is a leftover thing, so you're getting, you got to where the stalk is a little firm again. So now it will hold yeah, better. We're going to show you what the celery looks like now. See, that doesn't quite fall over now, does it? <laughs> now, as far as the cabbage goes, we're not using the entire cabbage because we only have, we're using leftover pasta. Actually, you know what, this is great because some people don't like to eat leftovers because they don't like to eat the same thing day after day after day. So making a new dish out of a leftover is actually something that's... It's green. It's green. People hate leftovers. They totally and absolutely. They but do? In my family, you know, my family learned to, uh, to take... We, we got to like it. The leftovers were better than the original meal in a lot of cases. Now, part of it is because sometimes some foods taste better because... With the leftovers, the seasoning has been it's a bit longer. That's right. Right, and it's set. Because it's we like would, a fine wine. We would look forward to having leftovers on some of the meals. Now, now am I supposed to chop this or am I yeah, just... Yeah, okay. just chop it. See, as you can see, I'm learning too, just like you are along the way. Because uh, one of the things you don't want to do if you don't have to is to slice your cabbage. Because it, just no, I mean no, but in the, when it's in the head, because what it does, it exposes it to the air. This doesn't expose it to the air. Oh, that's why we didn't chop off the ends. That's right. That's what I usually do. I know. It's basically it helps to make your cabbage last longer. Okay. And you can always okay. cut it up like this because first of all, the cabbage is something that's going to. It's going to wilt anyway. It's going so, to wilt. So. so you don't have to make the pieces really small. In fact, this is probably. I know. She, she's not really caught it. At, at she told people don't, don't let them see the fact that she can't chop. No, but it's, it's not going to make a whole lot of difference because it's all going to uh, cook down. Now, as you see, we're doing this. Yeah. I'm putting this in first before the celery because I don't want any of the celery to break through. I know. What I got to do is to, as soon as we get the, as soon as we get to our our new place, which we are hunting for to work out of, I'm going to make a version of Graham Kerr's bash and chop chop out of stainless steel, so 
which you can use it to chop with and to move things off of the counter. Ooh, is that helpful? Yeah. Well, as you probably noticed, the, this swimsuit here is by Hot Tuna. The boots are by a company. Oh! <laughs> They're just debuting at the Oscar sneak peeking. Okay. These are by a company called Capelta. C A P E L T A. These are fabulous. I absolutely Yeah, they actually got heels. These are boots oh. with heels. I mean, I mean, you see that? I mean, like they're. Which people don't really realize from the look of them, but... Oh, they just make you look tall. Yeah, they, that's true, because most of the times, when you have boots like this, these are flat. Yeah. These have heels, and of course my earpiece, which I can't live without, is a Motorola. This one is the H680, which is a brand new earpiece that actually we're doing reviewing on. Yeah. So just wait, and you'll see the review soon. Oh, we put in the mushrooms, too. Yeah. And the tomatoes are going to go in last, and why do the tomatoes go in last? Otherwise, you're going to wilt really fast. They will disintegrate. Okay, disintegrate. I suppose that's the proper word. They, you, they, could, you, you could probably wait on the mushrooms. Yeah. But, but you know, we don't know where these mushrooms have been either. So. And I always like lots of mushrooms, so we're going to put them all in. Yeah. The whole package. Yeah, because what we're going to end up with is leftovers from the leftovers, which are going to end up with a leftover with an exquisite taste to it, though. That's the difference. When this sets a day or two, does it taste better? It's going to really taste. I mean, <laughs> it's it, it it's just like like I said in my family, we would look forward to you know the like maybe the second time the leftovers were made from something because it get it got better as um, time went on. Yeah. Okay. Now we do have things in the oven, so we're just going to go ahead and set this aside. We are. Yeah. Put a little bit of. Uh, Oil, oil on it. You know, something, because we're, we're lucky enough that we've managed to pick up some oils that have a nice flavor to them, which a lot of people don't have. And this was, this was at a... This is a, a big lot. Big lots. Um, I actually love this oil, and I go specifically for it. It's roasted garlic oil, but this one has not only canola oil and soybean oils, it also has olive oil and garlic oil in it, and I absolutely love this one. Yeah. I, I love it for spinach. It's kind of like my catch-all oil. Yeah. I love to cook everything because in. Because it gives you a really, you know, it gives you a gourmet taste on a budget. Yeah, it really does. And olive oil, you know, it's pretty healthy. Yeah. So... Okay, we're going to go ahead and start. Do you want me to tell you what my, 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 my grandmother says? Uh, the difference between a gourmet and, uh, and a regular shit cook? What? said a gourmet uh, cooks just as cheap, but he calls it gourmet. <laughs> That's a good one. That's right. So we're going to go ahead. Yeah, mostly we just now we My just. My hands are cleaned, of course, beforehand. Now we just sort of put it on, you know, we, we more or less we just steam it down now. Because we still have to get the spaghetti in a little while. Because <laughs> no, oh, we. Yeah, because we do have to do that. Yeah, so we 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 tend to overcook on everything because it it gets ate. Or eaten. Or eaten. It well, whatever. It's eaten. Uh, eaten. It gets it gets eaten. It, I know, but I now, come I come from a part of the country where it's called eight. Now here's the perfect part. Now this is not recyclable. This this is probably is. Yeah. And this is perfect for. It's composting. for composting. You should so, never throw your stuff away. Compost it all, because what you're doing is you are building. Okay, composting. We're gonna, when we get to the new place, which hopefully is soon, we're going to make some composters for people to see. And every day we're going to be taking the stuff out. Here we're sort of trapped by space, but we're going to have composting. We're going to show you how to do it the cheap way. Listen to it already. Yeah, you just got to let it steam. Oh, I have to just sit there and wait for it? Well, yeah, because it's got to, we got to get it steamed down a little bit, otherwise we're not going to be oh, able to put this... Oh, we can't put the spaghetti in there otherwise. Yeah. Okay, I'm grabbing... Actually, can I my other... Yeah, something... You know, never put metal into any pot. Always use plastic or wood. Preferably go and go buy a cheap wood thing to stir it with. Because a lot of plastic actually isn't plastic, it's covered. Well, this is the one that I want right here. I yeah. like this guy. The shape of it instead of a plastic. 